Time to go to the Vrabel Strader. Let's see what we got here right, this now, week, buddy. I want to show you th this play. We were looking at this over and over again. Aziz Alshire, who's right here in the red shoes. Can't miss of, him. One of the top tacklers in the NFL. Yep. But on this play, he does an unbelievable job covering the pass. Yeah. Well, here we are in third and eight, and, and we know when we get into these side of situations, you know, we've got to win. You know, our, our percentage has been really good here. It's got to be better on third and three to six, third and two to six. Uh, we get that. But this is an opportunity to let these four guys up front here rush, uh, going to mix in some zone coverage, uh, you know, where we roll the corners up, safety is go to the half field, and we'll be able to play with a middle runner here. So now he's got three receivers to his left. He's responsible for two and three if they were to go vertical. Okay, so here, let's take a look here at what we got and making sure now we understand. So as you work your way through, so there's your, there's your zone coverage, right? Guys are pass rushing. You see an inside pass rush game here, looking to chip Arden. Okay, the corner's rolled up, playing with vision. We're at the sticks. And Aziz is getting ready now. You can see he's got depth. He's got speed over here at three. So he knows he's got Austin. Correct. And so now, as this thing works its way down the field, okay, what you've done, what Pittsburgh has done is they've tried to create levels, okay? They've got three different levels here, and I'll try to get that explained here. So now they've got a guy short of the sticks, a guy past the sticks, and then they're trying to run a guy through the middle. Teams normally try to play some cover two, right, in that down and distance. Right. And, and you just got to be able to protect for the deep shot. And what we've done here now is Aziz is running. He's not in phase. He can't look back for the football. So he's trying to time this thing up and go through the pocket. And that's what we talk about right here of going through the pocket where the quarterback and the ball, excuse me, where the ball is going to the hands, find the hands, and he's going up through the pocket. And you can see a, a tremendous play. Told him we'll get a better view here now. We, we, we do need a little bit of depth, okay? We need to now do a better job of reading the quarterback here on the backside and getting involved, right? We need to play with better vision, okay? So we're not leaving him out to dry, but a fantastic job of running, of getting into phase, and I guarantee the receiver's eyes got big. Austin's eyes got big, and that's when Aziz was able to match that hand and go through the pocket. Is his trigger seeing Austin put his hands out? Is that when he knows he needs yeah, to throw? Yeah, I mean, okay. when guys, you know, I mean, are going to able to get their eyes get big and that the, their hands get ready to go catch. You know, we're running like heck. We're, we're out of phase there, right? Because the third and eight, we're not normally looking there for that shot. Okay, continue to get Jeff here. Again, we got to keep working on our ball, our ball disruption. We're trying to get that hand up in the air, okay, trying to get that hand to, to match the quarterback's throwing hand and try to get it up in the air to affect the throw.